Welcome to episode 17 of Game of Growth podcast. I'm Tina from Flowpush. And today we are going to have an interesting discussion with Puneet Gupta, the founder of AstroTalk. Now for your information, AstroTalk is a free platform for online astrology prediction by the best in class astrologers. The application has more than 1 million downloads and the company is now clocking a profit of more than 3 million USD annually. And this is all done in a very short span. So welcome to the show, Puneet. It's really great to have you here. Thank you, Tina, for having me here. So uh, Puneet, I personally find astrology business very fascinating. I'm sure most of our listeners would agree to it. So uh, the question is, what led you to start AstroTalk and what triggered you to build it? Yeah, so uh, I was actually uh, against astrology all my life. And uh, my mother used to be a, you know, great believer of astrology and she would do anything and everything by asking an astrologer around a home place but uh, i would always find uh, i would always think that she is very superstitious and uh, she doesn't understand much and she does everything by asking an astrologer which is not right and i used to fight with her all my life but then you know how destiny plays a big role so when i was working with bnp paribas in mumbai and uh, i was about to put down my papers and uh, so like when when you want to resign you are very anxious whether you want to leave your job or not so i was in the same state and a colleague she came over to me and she asked me what happened and mm-hmm. when i told her about uh, that i want to resign but i'm not i'm very nervous she she told me that she she practices astrology and she can help me take a decision and uh, like i used to do with my mother i mocked her uh, for a bit and then because she was my senior she told me uh, I you, uh, you prediction to lo, do. So she was more like, if you want, you can take the prediction, otherwise it's up to you. But she would definitely tell me something. So I, I told her my birth details and you know she looked at my chart and uh, she said that uh, you would do something in the field of IT, which actually clicked because I was uh, about to start an IT services company at that time. But I also thought like it is very generic because I was already in the in IT field. So I thought it must be guessing. And then I asked me, tell me something which is, uh, you know, not generic. Tell me something very accurate. Mm-hmm. So she told me a couple of things about my past, which were kind of accurate only. And uh, and then I I, th- I asked her, okay, tell me what will happen. And she said that uh, the next two years are very promising for you. Uh, you can actually uh, resign and do a business. But uh, because she said two years, so I asked what will happen after two years. And she told me that uh, your partner would resign after two years and you will find it very difficult to uh, run the company for one one and a half years but after that things would be even better and uh, you will grow much more than before so that's what she told me and i did not believe her prediction at that time but it was kind of you know an assurance that someone told me ah, Carlo resign and that led me to you know resign from that job and start an it services company and which actually did really well uh, and after you know, one and a half years, my partner started telling me that he doesn't want to continue. And uh, I tried to motivate him, but after, you know, four or five months, then he kind of t- told me that he is quitting uh, and leaving our company. So around two years, two years time, he left. That's when, you know, it struck me that there is something in astrology because no astrologer can, you know, just tell you before starting a company that your uh, partner would leave and uh, you'll start struggling. So it hit me so hard that I, I called her up and I asked her that, you know, I'm doing the services company and uh, I'm very much influenced by astrology now because this is not something which anyone could guess. Right. And and that led to, you know, uh, thinking of starting a product product in the field of astrology. And that's when uh, AstroTalk was started. So the motivation behind starting AstroTalk was the belief which uh, I had in astrology after that one incident and I thought like it can uh, play a very important role in the lives of people uh, if this can be done on a very large scale. So I got together with her and uh, she was our first astrologer uh, and we started AstroTalk at that time. So it was around 2017 and now in the next two and a half, three years. So we are uh, we are the top astrology company uh, by revenue and by volumes. Amazing. Uh, that's an amazing story, Paneet. Uh, uh, the question is, what was the competitive market scenario? You know, when AstroTalk was launched, 
um, mm -hmm. I'm sure it varies from country to country. Perceptions change, mm -hmm. people's opinions change about it. And mm -hmm. what's the scope for it? And I know in India, a lot of people believe in astrology. But initially, mm -hmm. people used to visit astrologers to their home and used to get the consultation. So how has the change you know, uh, took place here? Yeah, so before starting any company, so I also did my research. And uh, while I was reading online, so I couldn't find much uh, back in 2017. So there were a lot of companies which were running in the field of astrology, but they had not written much how much revenue they had and you know the kind of customer base they had. So there was nothing on the internet. So I thought like, we couldn't do a revenue of more than seven lakhs rupees uh, monthly. So that's what my research told me that, that more than that would be really difficult. And the reason behind that was uh, the people who were running these companies, they were not writing much about that. Mm -hmm. So they were doing it uh, on their own and they were much happy. They're very happy, you know, earning good money and they, they would think like this is enough for them. And and the other part was like customer experience was also not good because uh, they would not care about the customer experience. and uh, they, they were just more inclined and clients toward uh, earning money today. So an entrepreneur, what would they do is like they'll earn a customer today and think of earning, you know, from tomorrow. So that was not there. So even customers were not happy and the market was very, uh, very much not organized. And so initially when I started, I thought like it would not be uh, that good a market. But when we started and we started providing good services, we got to know from a lot of customers that they were looking for such a product. For a very long time and uh, so it, it has been serving uh, their purpose and secondly so we also are you know getting a lot of new customers who have not taken astrology before so mm -hmm. like initially we like you would also believe that you know people after the age of 35 or 40 they would believe in astrology more than you know millennials but to our surprise our customer base is mostly in the age of 23 to 35 years of age okay. because yeah so the youth is connecting to it very well so like we all are very stressed in our you know personal life and professional life uh, because of so much competition and you know problems in personal life so astrology somehow you know it gives a relief from all those problems uh when all of all there are so many apps coming to the market which is easing our life but nothing you know there's no app which provides us jo hume sukoon hota na life mein, mm -hmm. the relief which we need after you know our daily daily work or everything so that is where astrodoc fits in and it provides the relief which everyone needs so so the market which we are capturing right now they are people who are you know in in some trouble uh, mostly in personal life and professional life and they are coming to astrology they are taking a prediction and what really happens and changes uh, in their life is if someone you know if you are going through a bad phase you never think you, you don't even think that it, this phase will, will end or not. You don't even realize it. You just, you are, you, you are in, in a pain that this is, you know, happening to you. But at the same time, if an astrologer assures you that this is going to end in two months, it changes a lot. It, uh, the perspective of the person changes a lot. And the, the pain in which that person is, it, it, you know, goes down to a very large extent because they start believing that it, it is going to end. Right. So, yeah. So that's where, you know, Astro Talk is uh, playing a very big role. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. So, uh, 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 two things I noticed here. Uh, what has changed from the past many years is that a lot of content generation for this mm -hmm. business line and mm -hmm. focusing more on customer experience. Yeah. So, uh, moving ahead, uh, uh, Puneet, the Astro Talk app has millions of downloads. Now, when mm -hmm. there are a million of people who are uh, using the application, it's very important to uh, generate the repeat value mm -hmm. uh, from the same customers. So how do you mm -hmm. engage them and how do you re-engage them? How do you focus on uh, retention? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, we actually have to do it. Uh, like every business, we also need to, you know, uh, engage those customers, talk to them again and again, maybe, you know, send them push notifications or SMS. Mm -hmm. But we are not doing it till now. Uh, because uh, we have taken one assumption and it has been working quite well till now. So we have assumed that if we have solved their problem once in their life and whenever they go through any other trouble and if we have actually held them through astrology, they'll actually come back and talk to the same astrologer again. And this has been happening uh, to a very large extent. So I've checked my numbers So anyone, you know, who registered with us in, let's say, January 2019. So 25% of those customers come back in the next month 
and the remaining you know they they keep coming back after a few months or something so we have a very uh, good retention rate of around 60% so anyone who talks to us once they actually come back after a few months with you know whenever there is another problem in their life so we are not doing much as of now to you know engage them or reach out to them again and again and we are just assuming they are coming back and it is actually happening till now but having said that uh, we are you know working on this thing that uh, we are working on free content uh, so that will be there in our app and a few things have been launched but we are doing a lot more and we are going to provide them a free session after you know a couple of months again so now if you download our app you get the first session for free uh, so anyone who comes to our app they can try the app once and uh, they get the first free session so that they can you know uh, understand how, how the app works and they can also get one prediction to you know just see ki whether it still works for them or not and if it does they actually come back with a paid session after you know a few days some some of the people they come on the same day also okay great yeah. so uh, puneet what hurdles did you face initially to build this platform it's it's not very generic platform not many people choose this line uh, because not mm-hmm. everyone has the market study not everyone has the proper statistics uh, um, around this market so what hurdles did you face initially the biggest hurdle which i had was like i had no astrology background and uh, but i knew everything which went wrong in this industry so i used to hate astrology because there would be a lot of you know astrologers who would come to a, come to a place because my mom was you know very much into this and most of the predictions would not come true right so so i was you know a hater of astrology for the same reason but now when i started this i realized the those predictions were coming wrong because those were all you know self proclaimed astrologers mm-hmm. so they didn't know astrology that well they were just claiming that they knew astrology and they would tell something uh, take money from my mom and you know just go and i would always feel that they are you know just cheating us and uh, they don't know anything and astrology doesn't work but when this incident happened with me i spoke to a lot of astrologers you know just to see how things work and then i realized that astrology actually has a lot of science behind it and it does work really well uh, if we you know have the best astrologers on our board uh-huh. so now you ask me about the hurdle so the biggest hurdle here was to get those kind of astrologers on board and it was really difficult at the beginning because you you know you just can't reach out to many astrologers at that time because not many of them were uh, technologically savvy so we used to uh, reach out to them through network and then take their interviews so we had created two three case studies of people about their past life and you would check with them okay you tell us uh, what happened to this person in this year and what tell tell me about his or her career or you know personal life and if it, it would match more than 70% then only we would recruit him otherwise we would just reject him so initial set of astrologers acquisition of initial set of astrologers were very difficult and it was the backbone of our company so the more number of astrologers we have it adds a lot to our business so initially it was very difficult but now the things have streamlined a lot so now when we have a very good brand value so a lot of astrologers reach out to us so i think now also we have around 4000 applications pending with us so we again take them through all the case studies and interviews anyone who gets selected uh, gets a place on our panel amazing yeah so uh, puneet uh, any marketing activities specific marketing activities and growth kpis do you uh, focus on uh, to to uh, to to grow your business so our kpi is uh, not really revenue so we actually track the number of minutes uh, of uh, conversation happen on our platform so right now we are doing around uh, 50000 minutes of chat and call together every day and uh, so we measure how much we are increasing and we are talking about marketing activities so we are very active on uh, facebook and instagram uh, so we have our ads running and the ad actually uh, talks about uh, it it is basically a chat a video of a chat happening between a customer and a astrologer so people you know look at that they understand how it works and uh, we also offer one free session they come back and they try the free session with us and then we assume like again the, the assumption which i told you that if we help some customer out once he will definitely come back to our app again right yeah and and what's uh, what's the um, revenue model here how do you generate revenue revenue model is very very basic so if you want to talk to an astrologer after the free session then uh, every astrologer has a price tag uh, which is on per minute basis 
so you need to recharge your wallet so let's say there is an astrologer who charges 20 rupees per minute and you did a recharge of let's say 200 mm-hmm. then you can initiate the call or chat with them and uh, you can cut the call or chat before 10 minutes so 200 divided by 20 is 10 minutes so they can speak for 10 minutes and if it if the conversation ends uh, in between they can close the uh, chat or call in 5 minutes then we'll talk uh, for 5 minutes only but this is how we generate revenue we charge for every minute of uh, conversation right and and uh, and the revenue generation is is amazing for astro talk which shows yeah. that uh, how many people are actually um, you know very interested to know what's going to happen to their uh, professional life or personal life yeah and then the best part about is, about this business is uh, like you asked me retention so retention and, the, and repeat rate is the best part so like we can understand very well so if we every day or maybe you know every week uh, once in, in every week we go through some confused phase where we don't know what to do mm-hmm. or you know we are in a phase where we feel like we are stuck in something we are stuck in a personal life or professional life so whenever that happens and that customer has taken a session with us and that really worked with for him they actually come back again so the repeat rate which we have uh, in the last one year is 13 and 13 is actually 13 repeat rate in a year is a very very good number which no other company would have in any other industry amazing that's that's true yeah. uh, any more additions would be see to the current service that you provide yeah so we would get a lot of requests from customers so with every prediction you know customers you would ask for remedies also so remedies could include uh, some pujas uh, some reiki healings or sometimes gemstone or rudraksh also and we were not doing it earlier so we would just uh, recommend them they can buy it uh, but we were not selling it but then people would you know come back to us and tell us that they don't know where to buy because authenticity is a big is a very big issue in buying gemstones so we have started that thing so we have launched astromall uh, which is a product of extra talk so okay. we have uh, created an e-commerce inside it and we are providing we have started providing all the services so anyone who is recommended anything they have an option of you know uh, buying from extra talk or they can do it offline also got it great um also one more one follow up question uh, with that um, are there uh, like is there any audience uh, except india from other countries mm mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah so we we are doing uh, so around twenty percent of business is coming from outside India, and twenty percent I think is a very small number which I'm uh, telling you right now. And the reason behind that is we are not focusing on uh, markets outside India uh, mm-hmm. because we feel uh, we should establish a good base in India first and then uh, go outside India. But our app is still available uh, across the globe. so those people i think they get to referral or the searches online mm-hmm. and they keep coming to us so doing nothing for them and getting 20% revenue is still a very big number through that so uh, puneet yeah. uh, i would like to know your key learnings and uh, the message that you would like to give to the audience uh, which comprise of entrepreneurs learners and others what exactly are your learnings when you built this platform so uh, can you yeah. share your thoughts on that yeah yeah so this is uh, astrodog is not my first startup so i have done uh, couple of startups before this but apart from the it service company any number of product which i started they failed and uh, and this worked really well so i was actually thinking what really you know worked well mm-hmm. so the message which i want to give uh, on that basis is that if you want to do something if you want to start something do something which is you know very close to your heart something which you have felt and you really want to change because when you when you start something of your on your own you will get a lot of hurdles you will get a lot of competition you will get a lot of problems every day but the only way to pass through all those problems and achieve success is that you believe what you are doing so all those problems they you know come to you as a very sweet challenge which you want to with as a very sweet problem which you want to solve and i enjoy doing uh, and resolving all those problems and uh, that's the reason like we are you know going past all those things So do whatever you love, and that's the key to success. For your audience, I would like to give a coupon code, uh, okay. so they can use uh, a voucher code named True Push, and they can get the first two uh, first two sessions for free. So if they use that code, instead of one session, they'll get two sessions for free within a year. Okay. Oh, amazing, amazing. Uh, I, I think I would need that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do it right away. 
Amazing, amazing. Uh, thank you so much for this interesting and useful discussion, Puneet. Um, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Puneet Gupta, the founder of AstroTalk.